So the thing about the STTC course, which I really liked, is that it replicated, um, it really replicated the format of the actual selective test. It was literally so similar to the actual selective test that I was so happy when I um, when I moved the pages and I was just so happy when I was answering the questions in the selective test because the format was so similar and I was um, I was actually very confident to answer those questions. That's what I really liked about the STTC course and the WEMT course really helped me improve on my strategies and how to do like the most efficient strategy and the ASAT tests they were also really important because um, the results, they were, uh, they really showed lots of statistics and information about my performance so that I can improve in my uh, future, you know, at tests. Yeah. Yeah. Um, STTC is like good practice for selective because like STTC is like almost the exact same thing, but just a bit harder, which like helps you a lot and then the teachers also explain it and because like most of the questions in the STTC is really similar in to the ones in selective like once the teacher explains how to do it then like you kind of like automatically know how to do that type of question writing the WMT course helped me a lot in writing it boosted my confidence in it the material was very good in like for thinking skills, math and English. I revised it a lot and it helped me a, a lot in the selective test. Most parts of it was necessary, so it was quite, it was good, yes. The vocabulary um, test, because they, they helped me with my writing and my English, English because the more amount of words I was, I was um, reviewing and remembering the definitions, I could put it into my writing and actually know how, if it's beneficial to me or not. And in any case of the um, text, I could, like hard words, I could, um, I could um, easily just understand and comprehend the text of this. Um, STDC was beneficial as well as WMT because they taught me stuff that I can't learn in everyday life and also um, some of my strengths that became weaknesses were like underlining math questions I guess that was mainly because I learned that math you had to go through every single aspect of it in order to actually answer the math question properly. For the WMT writing part I think Sometimes it was challenging, sometimes it was easy, but it would be better if you kept it a bit more challenging because sometimes it was just easy and I thought it might have been a slightly a bit back from what I normally learned at school. In English, I would say English is my best subject and that's why it seems so easy, but to others it was challenging and I think you should keep it like that. Normally what I would do I know the strategies like you read the question first and then read the text, but for me, I just read the text because I can read, read it real quick and just memorize the key points, answer the questions, and it's not like you can't go back. You can go back if you need to. So that was basically my strategy. Math, for me, it's just, if I don't understand the topic, I try to learn it. Uh, if the explanations don't help, I keep asking. If there's nothing else to provide, then I search online. And if I do know it, then I just try my hard, hardest. Thinking skills was probably the hardest subject for me. I think the thinking skills WMT is great and you shouldn't change it. It really helped me like think and really challenge my brain. And overall, it helped me a lot. I think thinking skills was really effective, um, not really in the verbal part, but I think in the non-verbal part where you interpret shapes and like patterns and things, thinking skills was a really big help. So I think instead of the arguments and like determining which argument it is, strong argument, weak argument, I think thinking skills helped more in sort of like a non-verbal context which you identify patterns and numbers and in maths 
I like the fact that it was easy and then it was hard. Because in maths, since there isn't much room for evaluation, the maths it was really helpful in the selective test because it wasn't sort of like entirely different from the maths. The maths that I did in WEMT, some really critical things that I learned actually root from WEMT, especially the fact that WEMT maths helped me refine those skills, especially when I couldn't put them to use in such a major thing like selective. Um, I think they were all pretty beneficial, um, but it kind of depends on which part you need most help with because the education that we received was of a high, very high standard and if we didn't understand anything the teacher would always explain it to us very clearly so we could understand so I think all of them were pretty good pretty beneficial. Keep reading books and find out other ways that you can improve your writing for example uh, find out certain techniques that would help boost uh, the amount of interest in your writing by reading more books as well and also um deeping uh yeah, digging deep to find the uh meaning of the uh, text uh you have to list your formula out first and then basically that's it you gotta like do it, take it step by step don't rush basically for wmt i think um you need to put in effort and uh, just be creative and write down ideas. I think reading reading the text a few times can help understand the questions and help you answer the questions more easily. And reading books can also help. Um, for maths, I think if you want to excel, you you should review more questions and practice questions until you've mastered them and then just practice more and more. The WMT course was the, the most beneficial was the term tests where you could review everything that you've learned over the term. Those really helped me to revise what I've actually learned with my teacher. Okay so with writing always try to stick with the topic because if you don't stick with the topic you lose marks there and just make sure that you don't you don't actually elaborate too much because if they only give you a certain amount of space to write. So if you elaborate too much, you won't have enough space to write everything. The WMT course, if you want to excel in reading, you're going to have to read a lot of books. That's what the teachers say. And pay attention to what the teacher's explanations really are and try to find the main points of the texts. Maths, you, have, you really have to memorize all the formulas and think outside the box because if you don't think outside the box, you're going to waste a lot of time on one question. So if you can't really do that, then just skip the question because it's not going to be like you have 20 hard questions and then 15 easy questions. It's going to be most of the easy questions and then some of the hard questions. Thinking skills, you really need to think with logic. You can't, you only need to think about what's in the question, not what's in your head. So if you have an option that's on the paper, you need to just pick that. You can't make options inside your head. Uh, from WMT, I got a lot of um, knowledge out of it because the teachers, they were really good and they explained the concepts like pretty well and like they explained questions that I didn't really understand. For writing in WMT they explained the topic very well like before the lesson and before we wrote and they after that they after we finished they took it home and they gave us feedback which really helped me like improve my writing skills like it definitely became better over time. Um, from some tips for writing um, is to like not show, like not tell people what you write, more like show. And um, for writing, also, if you're asked to write something, maybe write something creative and like think outside of the box because that's what Mark is really like. On English, I really liked the passages that they gave us because it helped me um, understand like different things and like how to analyze text and do good in question like correctly answer questions and like some tips is like to read the passage through first or like actually read the questions through one time first so that you can understand like what you're supposed to answer and then after that you read the text through and like try to see like the answers to those questions for maths 
you just basically the WMT teachers they did teach us like really useful like skills and tips and tricks to figure out math problems and it was really like with those tips and tricks it's really easy to answer the math problems so one tip is just to like some questions it might seem like long and hard at first because it's obviously a problem but like just read through it see if you know how to do it and then like note down every step step don't skip working out because in the end if the answer option isn't there at least you can read through your working out and see what you did wrong for the thinking skills there was um a lot of it was really new because it just came out like like recently so for thinking skills you can't really like make clear like you can't um make decisions that like if the question doesn't tell you it you can't really say that so but still make assumptions in some questions uh writing i feel like what you need to do uh for writing i think it's good if you like just like like do some practice topics so like i managed to find a few pra practice topics online and i was able to like do them and they kind of helped yeah english uh, i would say the same like just like find a bunch of like like practice papers online and also pretty neat with like the scc they have practice papers as well so for english i feel like uh like reading books also helped so sometimes i would just like like for like Prini in like the WMT course they have novel studies and like it's good to like read a book so you can expand your vocabulary so you can answer the questions with more proficiency because during the test there were quite a few hard words which like and like a few hard concepts they weren't too hard but they weren't exactly that easy either maths well I can't really speak for maths because maths was really easy in this lecture test it um definitely lowered my expectations but for maths i think that it's good if you also find some practice papers and also like you should like work and like find formulas like for example like the pi formula for finding a circle uh the formula for finding a triangle and like and, like you should like study formulas and like uh like get to know a lot of formulas so like, you can like work through the questions easier because a lot of them inquire like require like shapes yeah. and stuff i reckon for thinking skills you should do uh practice questions and also like find out like what type of questions there are and thinking skills and like how to deduce them because for english questions for english questions there is there is like a specific method that you have to use for them so in the like some english questions like you they ask you like oh who's correct and like who's wrong so you have to figure out like like a specific method and you have to like find out like reasoning like why they're wrong so i feel like you should also work on stuff like that